Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That is true. That has been able to unearth such an issue. So that's what you do as a leader. But if a leader, you hear that there is a lion there, without even proving that there is a lion, you rush to the whole community and say there is a lion. People will scamper in all directions. People will end up dying, yet there was no lion. Have you seen Zambians, the people that are trying to aspire to be your leaders? Leadership entails Wait Digest it Know what it is Then go to the media and speak Now, who has looked foolish here? I'm just trying to be frank Because As a leader Learn to get all your facts. In fact, there are intelligent ways of getting facts before you even begin to speak so that you are known that me, I speak the loudest. No. That is why this government, when we heard these things, we didn't go to the media to immediately start talking anyhow. We had to get facts because we are focused. We are a focused leadership. We are a leadership that knows what it's doing. So things come to us, we hear them, first we digest, get the facts, get the truth, then we come to you. Like I've come to you on the mining side. This is the content of what is purported to be God, when in fact not. So, that is how leadership is supposed to be, you know, conducted. I heard people in the morning, people have even created stories of who voted with what. It's so unacceptable. And that is why some of you, you are never going to be leaders of this country. You can't rule with that kind of, of mentality and approach. A leader, a filo kwato mte katima, because kutu wa oche chalo wa ipaya na vanto. Umulandu wako ibati, ulefo mwone kerea tulalanda sana. Yet, Whatever you are saying is empty, you know, uh, empty words that you, that you are giving to the country. So I thought I needed to address that. And I want to tell you some of the things that we are doing because we hear a lot of insinuations and people talking anyhow. Because we are a methodical and organized government, right now as we are talking to you, we have geologists in various areas doing preliminary works. We know that there are good occurrences and happenings all over. But for us to get real value and benefit, we have to do the right thing. What is the right thing? You need to map these areas where you are suspecting to be to have God. You also need to drill, to explore, to know this is the extent of mineralization. As we are talking to you, I think I've announced this several times. We have geologists in Chibombo, in Chisamba, in Lumezi, in Mumba districts, and other areas who are actually now mapping those areas and making sure that we know how the God is sitting and where it is. I've also announced to you that we are giving artisanal miners to, I mean artisanal licenses to local people, to Zambians, to cooperatives. As we are talking right now, our teams are busy going out there, cooperatives, tenements are identified, we are procuring equipment for them. We have to do it in a structured way. You, you can't just be mining like Mreimba or Ethiumbu or something. You have to be structured, you have to be proper. Again, those people that are mining must be in our profile. They must be in the system. They must be in the records. We must know where the gold is taking place, where the gold mining is taking place. All those things we, we have to know. Meaning, we have to have a structured system. But putting up a system, it's not going to take one day. Yes, 
the complaint is that yes people could be mining illegally but there are days are numbered that i can tell you and i want to announce to you the other day i talked about the minerals commission having gone to cabinet yesterday cabinet approved the minerals commission which is going to be a regulator. We need to have regulation. This country has been sitting without regulation for quite a long time. We have bureaus dotted around the country which are, have no capacity actually to carry out regulation or checks. So the commission has been approved quickly to be now a, a, a bill taken to parliament, into law, and we begin to implement. The commission will be in place, spread across the country, structures being put in place. You can see how we are moving, that it is when you are structured, it is when you are properly, you know, uh, 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 organized, that's when you can see benefit. It is not just taking a hoy today, I'm going to dig. No, you do it in a structured manner. The artisanal miners we are talking about, the ministry is busy arranging equipment for them. That is how you do things. So areas, for example, like in Pika, which was recently discovered, Senga Hill, Bufunsa, Vubri, and Lusangazi are also a mark for geologists to go there. So when you look at these issues, of course they require resources. So that's why we are doing it this side. After they finish, they move this way until we are structured properly. That is how you do things. Take with Mafia or Alanda or Kapantu, refocus on President Trump and to Alanda. Sana, our way is to do things correctly. It is, it is not to create lies. And some of you, you want to be president of a country, and you call yourself a patriot. You were quoted as having supporting, you know, unconventional ways of of, of taking over government. What sort of thinking is that? If a child is to a Rishiba to a Rishwom Tendi, so we move a member, we do not tell our problems in a few months. As we are a peaceful nation, we have enjoyed our peace. Some of you, the way you talk, you can even see that if this person was given power, thirty three, thirty three, no amen. So I uh, basically that is what we are doing around the gold sector. So I want Zambians to be a little more patient on this sector because we are really organizing and reorganizing it to make sure that it answers to the current trends in terms of benefits to our economy and the creation of employment to our people in a structured manner. We don't want the confusion that was the, in Northwestern province. We don't want the confusion that we inherited. We want that confusion to finish and have an organized way of doing things. I also want to talk about another item which is very noisy, light. Our ministry, two days ago, I think I've been promising you that we will go and do mapping and do exploration. So our ministry has sent a team to Luapula province. The geologists are already there. They have not yet started mapping or, uh, or exploration. They have gone to meet, first and foremost, they will meet all the stakeholders. Now, who are the stakeholders? Number one, they are royal highnesses in the areas where there are occurrences of sugilite. Number two, security wings. I was in a phone call today with my colleague, the Minister of Home Affairs, so that we work together in terms of making sure there is security there. Other security wings in the province, our teams have engaged because sugilite is such a sensitive matter. We are cognizant of the fact that there are all sorts of suspicions around it and as such we have put a multi-sectoral team that involved geologists security wing the zambia intelligence services and everyone so that this is done in a transparent manner free of corruption so after the engagement with the chiefs and sensitization of the communities around the area, then the team will move in 
map the area, drill, and make sure that they also understand the extent of mineralization. That is critical in mining. You need to know what you are sitting on. You can't just say, let's start digging. No. We want to do it in a structured manner, properly done, so that when now the mining begins, it begins in a way that will benefit the economy. It doesn't support people that want to just be unscrupulous and steal from us. So people are all over in Luapula province. Meetings are taking place. They'll move on site maybe the next two, three days after sensitizations and teams are put in place in terms of the security wing. And then we move to map and explore and understand how much mineralization is there in terms of sojilite. That is also happening to lithium in the southern province. We are also doing that. So basically, as a country, for me and for us as New Dawn government, we believe that we are on the right path to resuscitate the economy, to sanitize the mining sector, to make it more beneficial to you, our people. Thank you very much. So, I'll allow questions. So maybe basically, I know you have said there is an investigation, but we would like to find out, uh, uh, is that, do, are those meanings coming from Zambia or coming from other countries? Maybe they are just in transit because we have copper in Congo. So maybe Zambia would like to find out, uh, are those meanings coming from Zambia or, or from other countries? Next question. Yeah, next, uh, my name is Chris, I'm right from Where are the metal parts? Yes, next. Um, um, you indicated that what people suspected to be called was actually using charcoal or when they care of the charcoal's power. My question is, where are those cotton is? What's your name again? My name is Francis. Okay. Where are those particles cotton in, 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 in gold lining or the gases prepared that to be gold? What do you think would have been the motive for giving that situation? Mr. Mangaila, I'll start with you. I think all of us have seen the pictures of how those things are looking, isn't it? On face value, you would think that is, is gold. Those of us that are in the mining sector, or those of us that have dealt with minerals, sometimes one will bring to you a green stone, you will think this is, uh, this is emerald. So when they bring it to you, take it to the lab. Or even copper, somebody could come to you, they lie to you, this is copper. What you need to do as a human being or a businessman or whoever you are, take that thing to the lab. Have its mineral content checked. Even here in Zambia, do you know that before you export, they take, uh, you know, uh, ZRA does check the mineral content of anything. They don't just look at it and say, yes, this is it. Because anything can be coated with anything. Because if you know, for example, that uh, amethyst is purple, you can get any stone, color it purple. If you take it to somebody, they'll think this is amethyst, but you need to do the testing. That is what is critical. Then the test must show you, this is a report, this is gold. Or this is a report, this is emerald. That's how things work. Then, uh, Mr. Nkomesha, either from Zambia or from other countries, all I know that plane landed from somewhere, I don't know. The investigative wings are going to give us where those things came from. Our job is to tell you this is the mineral content of anything. As to where they came from, 
they will feed back to us because what we have done is to feed them back the mineral content now why i had to explain this mineral content because there's been so much speculation and lying so we needed to give you the scientific explanation of the content of what we saw uh Mr. Fula, you are not listening to my, my, my press briefing because I think your question was clearly tackled. It's not in our hands. It's in the hands of, of the investigative wings. It can't be with the Ministry of Mind. Our job ended at making sure we are setting the content. Beyond that, we are done. The, of course, the drug enforcement and other inv investigative wings are going to give their statements fully. Who is involved, where these things came from, all that will be given. It's not in our domain as a ministry at this particular time. Bear in mind that there is no other briefing after this. Yes. <laughs> no, the issue that I was raising also, the issue that I was raising. So you want us to be in the same So I think we are clear, isn't it? There are no more questions. Please let's take our leave. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.